While you're on hudking.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or put a zip code or street name in the search bar to see other real virtual tours. We are here at 4814 Casa Manana, 4814 Casa Manana. Very charming four bedroom, two bath home. Not a huge place, only about 1123 uh, square feet, 1123 square feet, built in 1970. The exterior of this home is brick. Sits on about a 9,100 square foot lot, which is a decent sized lot. That's one thing about these older homes is usually they're on a little bit larger lot. Exterior is brick with a little bit of the older, kind of asbestos siding. A little bit of wood trim. Exterior wise, looks like it's in decent condition. Has a two car garage. Looks like the fence is going to need to be looked at. Part of it is falling down. Let's take a look at the backyard. It also looks like they did construct a little covered patio back here too. A little bit of wood rot right there. And this is that covered patio. Now, <laughs> they didn't do a great job of it. Uh, so I would recommend, you know, maybe redoing it, maybe taking it down all together, but it's a pretty decent sized lot longer rather than it is deep and a lot of the fence has patchwork so either leave that or go back and talk to your neighbors and re get that redone now they also constructed what looks like a pretty nice sunroom here it doesn't look cheap they poured a slab they bought one of those nice heating and cooled units here windows look nice that's not bad let's take a look at the inside well, this is an interesting layout. It is a four bedroom, two bath home. It's gonna need some work, but for the price, not bad. This home is $12,000 underneath the county appraisal. It's appraised over 84,000. They're only asking 72 for it. And these make great rentals over here. Now it's not available to investors to buy as a rental yet, but if it makes it to that period, I think this could be a fantastic buy because it really just needs some cosmetic touching up. So when we walk in, we have to come around this corner and we are into the combined living and dining room. This is not a huge home, only about 1,200 square feet, and you have a combined living dining room here. There is no flooring in here. You're gonna to wanna to replace that. And then in the kitchen here, not a huge kitchen. It does not have the oven and the vent hood there. So not a huge place, but I think it would make a fantastic rental. We come around the kitchen. We have that two-car garage here, pretty standard. Two car garage is going to need a little bit of sheetrock work if you want to enclose that up, but your washer and dryer connections are out here as well as access to the backyard. And then what they did was, if we continue through the living area, this is that enclosure that they put on the back, that sunroom. Uh, this is actually really nice. Uh, they did a nice job adding this on. Gives you a lot of extra living space back here. They bought one of those wall mounted heating and cooling units is neat Lot, lots of sun here and if you don't want to use this room you just close it off with these French doors here and you've got you know your main living area now we do have a master bedroom at the rear of the home not a huge master probably about a 12 by 13 it's gonna need flooring it's gonna need a fresh coat of paint not a huge master bath it does have one of those combined shower and tubs and it's missing some of the a couple of the tiles and the spout there has a single vanity. No frills, but you know, fine, good enough. Here's your master closet, master walk-in closet, no flooring. The whole home is going to need new flooring. So I tell you, you know, factor in about $1,200 a square feet, uh, 1,200 square feet, and then you know, factor out what, how much it would cost a tile. Well, actually, let me, let, me, let me back up. This bedroom has ceramic tile and it's in good shape. This is bedroom number two. Ceramic tile, you could probably keep that as long as you like the, net, the neutral color. I would just suggest painting this room. All of the bedrooms are about 10 by 11. Bathroom number two, bathroom number two does have tacked down linoleum tile and it's missing the bathtub. So you will definitely want to get that fixed. Has a single vanity. Bedroom number three has also still that same ceramic tile, which is in good shape. Just needs a fresh coat of paint. And one interesting thing they did here between bedroom number three and four is they opened up the closets. Now normally there's a wall here dividing this closet and that closet, 
but bedroom number three and four share a combined closet, but they continue through with the tile into bedroom number four, which is right over here. Bedroom number four, flooring is fine in bedroom number four. Painting, I would suggest painting that blue. And then here's that pass through once again to the other side into bedroom number three. So all in all, charming house. List price is only 72,000. You could maybe offer less. Needs a fresh coat of paint, needs some flooring. A little bit of touch up stuff here and there, but nice home. Let me give you a summary. There it is guys, 4814 Casa Manana, 4814 Casa Manana. Very charming four bedroom, two bath home. Is gonna need some work, but it is priced incredibly low, only $72,000. So guys, if you are interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I'd love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan, I am the HUD King, and I wanna help you find your castle.